Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Okay, everybody, welcome back. So now, let's get started with actually talking about our cartridges on the Gypsy and how you can look at what cartridges you have and how you can look at what cartridges are already out there. So, as you can see, I have the three birds straight from the nest cartridge right now on the Gypsy and that's because that was the last cartridge that I was working with. So, down here in this area here, you'll see it says three birds straight from the nest. So it'll give you the name of your cartridge. And if you look at the way it is on your gypsy screen, the screen is actually showing you the same as the overlay. So it looks exactly the same. It's just smaller and portable. So you don't have to carry the handbook around with you. Although, I still use my handbooks anyway. So, now, when you look at the straight from the nest right here, you can see that it is in black. And when you see items in black, that means these are cartridges that you have linked to your gypsy. If you pick a cartridge that is in red, that means it's not linked to your gypsy. You can design with it, but you will not be able to cut it with your Cricut until you link it to your gypsy. So basically, you have to own the cartridge. So over to the right of that, you, you'll have some up and um, left arrow and right arrows. Those are basically, it'll move up from the last, the cartridge that's above this one, and it'll move down to the cartridge that is below this straight from the nest. Next to that is your Cricut Bug, which is, and I've shown that before, your search button. So in here, you would put in the keyword of what you're looking for, and then click on or tap on the overlay. So, let me go back here. If you select just that, it's going to bring up everything under A, the alphabet. So, what I do is I select the overlay to the right and then I type in what it is that I'm looking for and then wait for it to go ahead and list all the cartridges that have what I'm looking for. So, we're going to put in circle. And I know there's a lot of cartridges out there that have a circle. So I've typed or tapped out the word circle. And I'm going to tap OK. So now I have all these options here of the types of circle. And then I can just pick one. Or go down the list and just choose one. And I'm going to choose, um, let's choose circle tag. Now it brought up that the Simply Sweet cartridge has a circle tag on it. And if you look at that right there, you can see it. And if you want to see what does that look like, if you hold, the, these are what they call pan buttons. One makes it larger, one moves it around on your mat. And we'll go over that. But if I click that, that's what it, it shows me. So it's kind of like your zoom. And then we can tap that. And if you want to choose that, you'll go ahead and choose it. And then, or if you don't want that one, then you can just choose cancel. So I'm going to cancel that. And we'll go back to where we were at. And we'll do this again with the search. So I can go over it more with you. So now, and then over here, we're back to our overlay again. Or this will take us back to our mat. I'm sorry. So, 
I'm going to, since I'm on the straight for the nest, I'm going to pick the little birdie up here that is key number one. Now, how do I know that's key number one? Because there are ten keys on each line. So, when I give out my measurements when I'm doing my cards and, I'll, and I say to you, it's on page whatever, key number, that's what I'm counting. So, and I've actually taken my handbooks and numbered the keys so that I know exactly which key it is on the gypsy. So, I'm going to zoom back a little bit so you can see what I'm referring to. So, right here, I'll say it's on page 28, but from my overlay in my gypsy, I know that's key number one. So I've gone ahead and labeled each one so that when I give you the measurements, I know which key it is. I could also count it too, but it's a lot easier because lots of times when I give them to you, I'm actually showing you the overlay, telling you the page number, so it's easier for me to have the number up there in the corner than to sit and count out each one from the gypsy. So let's go back and get back into our gypsy. So as I said, I'm going to pick the little birdie, which is key number one, and it puts it up here. Now from here, if I want to add more, which, why don't we add the little cupcake down here? Because I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So we put those two up there, and now we want to go back to our mat. So we're just going to tap on the mat, and now we have both of these here. Now if you notice, up here in my right... It does say I got them positioned. The x axis, axis is 5.94 and the y is 6.41. But as I said before, I don't really use those. If you're one of those people that have to have exact measurements, this is great for you. I'm not one that does measuring because I don't like to measure. So the other thing is you'll see that the height is 3, and it automatically made my width 5.62. The other thing that you will notice, and I'm going to put this down now and face it up this way. And let's get in just a little bit more here. Is These two are together. I can move them all around the mat, and they are connected together. So now... These two buttons over here that I referred to earlier, if I want to make this bigger so I can see, I am going to hit just the top button, the top silver button, and tap on my screen. And that's what happened. It makes it bigger. Now, as you can see, it's bigger, but I can't see it on my screen. So what I need to do is bring it down. So without separating or moving anything around, and I want to keep it here in this position on my mat, I'm going to hit the button below the top one. So we're going to hit this button, and we're going to bring it down. Now as you can see, it didn't move the position of where these two are on the mat. It just brought the screen down so I could see it. So, and if I want to make it even bigger, I can tap again and it makes it bigger. And if I want to go bigger, I can keep tapping. Now to get back to the regular size. Okay, I just was pressed, just tapping too many times, I confused the gypsy. You only had to tap it one more and it went gone back down to the size that it was. So now, as I said, they're still both together. So now, what if I realize I really don't want these two grouped together? You have two options. You can go back to your mat, 
down below and you can just backspace the cupcake out and I would only do that if I decided I really don't want the cupcake at all that's when I would do that but if I do want the cupcake so I put, I, all I did was tap to put the cupcake back and I'm gonna go back to my mat if I do decide I do want to use the cupcake and I want I don't want these two to cut together I don't want them to be the same color paper or whatever I want to ungroup them that's when you would come over and you would tap this button right here I'll, I'll bring it up so I won't be zooming back and forth that is this button right here so I'm going to tap that and once I come over to the cupcake it's no longer grouped with the birdie and I can move the cupcake anywhere I want it up down around and so forth but now let's say I want to undo what I did because I was moving it all around I cannot do the undo button and I'll show you what I mean because I moved it here 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 and then I moved it over here so if I do the undo button as I said before it will only undo the last thing you did so that's not going to put them together what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it move it back up here next to my birdie and I'm going to hit the group button and once you do that you'll see that the group button is now highlighted in yellow so I've already got my cupcake tapped so I'm going to next tap the birdie so now the two are grouped together again but remember you still will have to tap anywhere outside of that and take the ungroup tap the ungroup button again and then you can move them around and they're grouped together again like so so that's it for our lesson for today so come back and we'll go over your position buttons over here and the resizing button thanks for watching everybody bye